Hello my pinkies and welcome back to another plan with me video. So this video I'll be using these stickers from Recollections. I bought these last year and I have been hoarding it and I'll be using the washi that I just pointed up at the top corner because I think those washi will match it. This video is going to be a little bit different because I am going to also do a plan with me in my TN. Um, I've been using this tea and since I got it in November and I'm just loving using this tea and right here First part of this video is going to be a sped through of my HP plan with me weekly And then the second part I'm going to do a voiceover over my TN. So here this was last week's spread I did not do a video on that one for those who were wondering. Let's get started We'll be planning for March 12th to March 18th if you guys have any question about this sped through here, just let me know and comment down below and I will answer them. Other than that, just sit back, enjoy the video and music.
just want to do a little explaining why I have two planners. A majority, I have three, but um, I just want to show you my planner lineup, what I usually do for my daily basis. My third one's actually for my business, um, the Pink Room Co., but you guys don't really need to see that. But the main two planners that I do use is my um, pocket size traveler notebook and my happy planner here which you guys always see when I do all my plans with me so what this is why I have the reason why I have two is that this is how I see my week throughout the week what I need to plan what I need to do throughout the week um, plan out my week and then from each week for the day so say like for Monday I'll show you these are adorable clips too here. <laughs> Let me just take them out. Okay, so for for example, like um, let's do last week. Okay, so this was my last week spread. So for example, for Monday, um, what mainly what I really need to do is groceries and mail out my weekend orders. And then Tuesday, I have to order supplies. My cleaners are coming, and it's also payday. Oh, not payday. Got to pay my visa. So for that week which is the fifth which is here so say Monday okay so so this is Monday right here so as I said before this is my weekly overview and this is the breakdown of each day so when I plan in my TN I look at my weekly overview so what I usually do is I plan this first and then I plan my TN right after or every day per day. Like just take half an hour just to say, okay, you know, today what I'm gonna do and break it down for that per day. So I'm just gonna show you how I plan my TN for this week that you just saw. Right, uh, right here, so I'm gonna use the same sticker. Um, I think before I was just using random kits, different kits theme here and there, but I think from now on it'd be a lot easier if I use the same sticker that I used in here. So then I, it's easier for me to look up what I'm doing on that day. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to leave this page open for me at the side so I know what's going on that week. And then with my TN, just want to show you guys, it's not really well set up. Yet I haven't really honestly had time to set up because I feel like every time I want to set up it's already like a new season, a new theme, new month. So I just kept it really simple. Right now it's kind of like a princess girly theme. Um, hence the Cinderella, the bows, the charms. I'm just going to show you um, basically what's in my TN. Obviously this is not just all uh, weekly spreads but I do have some stuff in there. Um, the TN, this I got it at Pella Studio. I'll have her link in info down below. Um, I buy all my TNs from her because it's just such amazing quality and the materials that she used is just gorgeous, gorgeous. This was actually a custom one that I asked her to make for me before she even did any of these colors. I said I wanted a white and gold one because white and gold is my favorite color, white, gold, and pink as you can tell is my favorite color. And I already have a lot of pink ones from her so I'm like, you know what, I need a white one and a gold one so I asked her to make one for me. I do want a smaller version, a pocket size, and this is a pocket size wide because I find that I'm not crazy about, you know, how how my notebooks inside are like, like to the edge itself. So that's why I wanted a wide version. And this is great. I love it. I've been using it since I got it. And I'm just in love with it. Like the material and the thickness is just, oh my God, like very very well crafted so anyways what's in my TN so these little notebooks that you to see I did make them myself they are all sewn I'm not crazy about staplers or how you just staple the notebooks together to make a notebook I know it's super easy super fast but I'm not into that I like to sew my my 
what you guys spine like I like the spines to be sewn so they here you could fit right here I have one two three four five six 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 notebooks the last two notebooks is actually from ruffle paper and co as you can tell super beautiful I have not use them yet because I have no idea what I want to use them for <laughs> but they're just so pretty like oh I love it so here for these one it was well this I decided to start off with a Cinderella theme color like the blue and the gold I also made some dashboards for dashboard right here it says you know have courage and be kind um, if you, those who do follow me on Instagram will have seen me doing this dashboard and then at the end it says find that girl they are all talking about the forgetful one who loses her shoes so I thought that was super cute so it was it ties in with my Cinderella theme the reason why I love Cinderella Cinderella is my favorite princess out of all the Disney princess so that's why I, I love Cinderella okay so let me just show you what's in each notebook so obviously the first one here is my weeklies the inserts are created by me. They're not for sale. I haven't put it or listed on sale. Don't know if I want to or not. But they are customized to how I like it. I like to have my blanks on the side and then my hourly inside. And the hourly are actually measured out to fit my stickers in there perfectly. So that's how I like it. I did play around with it before. I did have like all the same thing like, you know, both pages are blanks here and alley here and then didn't look what good because of the washi because I usually like to leave the side blank here as you can see to put my washi in for decorative purposes just to make the spread look a little bit cuter because I love using washi's in my planning okay so I have two of those these books for inserts so this is one this is two. This is for the month of February and March, and I believe I made this one for April and May. And the next one is, I haven't used it yet, but it's my orders. So anything that I order from Etsy, from my supplier, or Amazon, anything that I ordered online that I'm waiting for mail to come in, happy mail to come in, I will list it here. It will tell you also if I received it or not where I ordered from, the date, the amount, if it's in Canadian or USD because a lot of items I do order is in the states with the states currency and then I write down either how I pay with either PayPal or Visa because these are the two main accounts I do use for my business. So the fourth book is all my customer service info. I can't show you these ones, the ones that I wrote at the beginning because it's related to my business if anything like if I for example have to do swaps or any loops or giveaway I do write them down or if a customer contacts me about an issue or concern I also write it down or if I need to remail out something or mail is lost I write it down so I don't forget to do it and I usually do it right away but usually if I don't and when I do do it I do cross it off so I have this little booklet here to keep me on track to see if it's done or not so this is mainly my customer service booklet and as you can tell the last two is just ruffle paper and coat it's just blank inside I did start using this one for my go wild information so those of you who are going to go wild yay I'll be there I'll be sponsoring a table and will be I'll be also part participating in the swag so can't wait to see you all and I don't think I've announced it to anybody yet that I'll be going but yes I'll be in Texas in May for Gold Wild Texas yay or Go Wild Austin so I hope to see you guys there okay enough of me talking so I'm just gonna show you guys how I plan my insert my weekly spread in my hourly I do call these my hourly because it's just the breakdown of the day of the hour so I'm just going to show you guys how I do this it will be a voiceover because I cannot talk while I plan so first thing with my daily spread I like to do the decorative parts so meaning the washi tape and the blank spaces for the full box and then lastly I go in for my hourly to plan out my day 
each page I like to make a little bit different um, compared to the other one so I'll be using different combination of washi on the side and same with the arrangement on the page. Once the edge washies are done, I'm going to start filling the blank column with full boxes. I have to bring in the skinny washi to cover some of the white space right there as you can see because one of the recollection set sticker is not fully uh, 1.5 inches wide so it's just missing a space there I'm just going to fill it in with the washi tape and I don't know why it's only that set that is just shy of a few inches but yes. Here you'll see the blank spaces in between the two full boxes. I usually cover them with washi. However, most of the full boxes I use are my Happy Planner ones, which is a lot taller and would cover the space more. But because these are for the recollection, and I think they are Erin Condren size, um, there will be a gap. So I'm just filling the blank parts with washi tape and then adding my own date covers into it. Once I have my date covers down, I'm just going to add in the date numbers so I know what numbers of the day it is that I'm working on. Next, I plan out my hours within the day of the week. And usually if I have repetitive chores or repetitive events every day that's hurting, that's happening at certain hours, I just do that throughout the whole week instead of planning day by day. For example, work, I start work at 10 and then dinner for us every night is at 6 o'clock because of my children. Before work, I always have to drive my daughter to school. So those events are considered my repetitive events. Here you see me marking off my breakfast days, which day I get to make breakfast for my children and which day I get to sleep in, sleep in meaning for half an hour while my husband makes breakfast for them quickly so for Monday I'm going to fulfill orders also going to film this plan with me that you are watching right now also have to do groceries Monday's always groceries and once I get back I'm going to cut some more stickers and usually once I put my children to sleep at night at the bottom it says at night time I usually go back to my office and do some more work Wednesday and Thursday, same thing. I'll be cutting, printing, and fulfilling orders and shipping them out. Wednesday, I'm expecting a few happy mail that I purchased online. And Friday, same thing. Going to print, cut, fulfill, and also I'm going to film an unboxing video of my April mystery kit, which I think I will upload either on Monday or Tuesday for you guys to see. And that's it for filling it in. Next, I'm just going to start marking everything down. I usually use a black pen, but I got this beautiful blue felt tip pen. I want to use because it's just a bit more brighter and it works well with the sticker color theme. So I'm going to see if I like it or not. If I don't, <laughs> I might stick back to my black. Usually for the weekend, I don't like to plan so much because I just want to spend time with my kids and my family. So here I'm just adding doodles to fill up the space. 
And there we go. That's it. This is my week, my hourly week. And I'm just going to zoom in right now just to show you guys so you guys can have a close up of it. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this type of plan with me with my TN rather than my happy planner or even both or both sped through and no voiceover so on and so forth. Just let me know down in the comment below if you like it or not or if you hate it just let me know too so I won't do any of them but I do enjoy planning in my TN also. I'm just going to show you guys a quick flip through through my TN hourly planning, designing, creating always give me joy and even looking back through it now while I edit my video always makes me happy. It just brings me joy even looking at the colors and the beautiful stickers everything and I hope watching these videos brings you guys joy and motivation or inspiration but even looking at other people Instagram feed other people spread and their sticker just gives me so much inspiration too. And I want to share my joy. I want to share my happiness with you guys. <laughs> Sorry if I sound corny or cheesy, but it's true. And I just love what I do. And thank you guys for supporting it too. Because without you guys, I wouldn't be here doing what I love to do. Again, thank you, my pinkies. Thank you for your support. And thank you for watching. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video. Happy planning. Bye. Bye.